Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Nathan's 3D Factory, and also welcome to Spooky Season! <laughs> okay, so in this episode, what are we going to be doing? We are going to be doing a witch's hat. So we're going to delete this cube first, and then we are going to add a cone. Okay, and so right off the bat, I'm going to be reducing my vertex count to 16. My radius 1, I want to do at 25. Radius 2, I'm going to do at 2. So the radius 2, that one typically is at 0 if you're just doing a standard cone. But it's really cool because then you get it at the top of that and you can get something that doesn't just go to a point and that's it, you know? Okay, and then for the depth, I'm going to go to 50. Let's look at that for a moment. All right. So there we go. All right. And then I'm going to go in tab and edit mode. And right off the bat, we're going to go into face select mode by pressing 3 on the, on the numbers. There we go. Shift S. Cursor to select it. So now, I'm going to tab out of edit mode. And then I'm going to set origin to 3D cursor. And then I'm going to press Shift C to get my recentered cursor. And then Alt G to put my geometry exactly where it needs to be, aligned with this print bed object. Sometimes I'm not even going to do this as printable, and sometimes I will. This is a great reference point. So um, if you need like just a reference point for something, and you just need something visual, you know what? It's great just to have it right there. Okay, so now we have that recentered, and what I want to do is I want to delete this face by pressing X, F for faces. And then I'm going to go to my edge selection mode by pressing 2. I'm going to press Alt, select that, and then I'm going to extrude it by pressing E and then S for scale. I'm going to scale it up too. Okay, there we go. I'm going to tab out of edit, edit mode. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a couple of modifiers. Okay, the first one I'm going to do is a multi res. Now, multi res is really cool because it allows you to sculpt on this at varying levels of subdivision. Okay, so subdivision, we're going to do a couple of subdivides on this, right? So we're gonna do subdivide. We're gonna add a couple levels here. So now this will give us a good way to start our coarser details. We can add finer details later, but I'm not gonna to go too in depth. I wanna keep this short. So one of the things also is that you'll notice that this thing is a lump, you know, it's there's not very much definition and I can do things to change that so I can say control R and I can pull this in and do the same thing right here then right here and so those are some ways to control some of your geometry without having to go and sculpt it all right now we have a little bit more control on that and then we can go into sculpt mode okay and now we can have a little bit of fun of just adding a little bit of detail here right so one of the things that's really nice is doing G for grab right so you have your draw tools you have your grab things like that okay then F will resize your brush So you kind of resize it as you need it. And what you do is you just kind of go around, make it so that you have just a little bit of like, kind of just wrinkle and tilt, whatever you want to call it. And do a whole bunch of stuff like that. Let's say you want to smooth it. Let's see. That S. Okay. 
then I can also grab this stuff down at the bottom. get that, kind of pull it around. There we go. And then you can do inflate to kind of just like kind of bulge out some things. And if you press the control with inflate, then it also push it in. Which is definitely nice. And shift F, I can also increase my strength. Then it kind of gets you bulge on there. There we go. So anyway, that gets you a little bit of that. Add some wrinkle. Pinch some things too. And you can also add more surface area to that, or I should say more subdivisions. Okay, subdivide there again. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright, so then you just do some of that and then... Once you get there to where you're satisfied, then also add a subdivision. Maybe, or not a subdivision, but a solidify. There we go. And once you have that, say two for your uh, for your solidify. Go back to object mode. So sometimes you get little artifacts like that. And what you can do is you just kind of like smooth it out. Back to your bolt mode. Kind of inflated a little bit there. Smooth it. See how it looks in object mode now. If I go back to that, I hope we got rid of those artifacts, right? Um, and if not, oh, just a little bit more. bit here object mode there we go and now we have a nice smooth out mesh gets you some of that detail right there and so really cool stuff right so anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that uh, that you learned something new and you got some inspiration for spooky Halloween time so uh, make sure to leave comments and like this video if, if you enjoyed it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so I really appreciate having you come back and uh, just kind of showing up for the channel it makes us better and we can do more really cool quality content and just make it that much more improved thank you so much for watching Nathan's 3d factory have a great day